This is how you can use the top GG API for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or a Discord subscription. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to those paste pins. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to those paste pins or source code. And if you get the Custom Bot tier up, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started and let's go ahead and get into the video. So to start off we're actually going to go over to the top GG website. So basically if you don't know what this is top GG is a place you can display bots and servers. For this we're going to be focusing on bots. So if you go ahead and search any bot let's say dino it's going to go ahead and come up with a bunch of bots here. So basically what we're going to be doing today is bots like this don't have a server count. This one does it has a server count of nine but other ones don't and when you just upload your bot to top GG and it gets reviewed yours isn't going to have a server account either. That's where the API comes in. We're actually going to use that to post the server account from our actual client. So the first thing that we're going to do to accomplish this is we're going to go over to profile and then right here it's going to show you your discord bots. If you don't have any of this set up you are going to have to go ahead and submit a bot for review on top GG so that you can actually proceed with this. But for me I have one here so I'm just going to go ahead and click edit. So here we're going to go over to webhooks. So what we're looking for here is the token for this bot. Now this is top GG's token. This is not the actual bots token but you're not going to want to actually share this with anyone because this is going to allow them to access your top GG bot. So you can go ahead and click reveal right here or you can go ahead and regenerate. Obviously I'm going to regenerate mine after the video. I'm going to go ahead and reveal it and then I can just go ahead and copy. Now we can go over to our Visual Studio code and we can just go under any file and we can do top GG.js. And here we're going to do const and we can get our slash command builder. Then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js. Then we can do const and we're going to do auto poster equals require and in here we're going to get top GG dash auto poster. Now you are going to have to do MPMI top GG auto poster in your terminal for this to work and make sure it looks exactly like this. We can do const express equals require and we're going to get express just like before you are actually going to have to install that in your terminal as well. Now we can do const app equals express parentheses just like that and then we can do module dot exports and we're actually going to go ahead and create our command now. So we can do data and we're going to do new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be top GG. We can go ahead and set a description and in here we can do post stats to top GG just like that. We can go ahead and add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up. In here we're actually going to go ahead and start off by deferring a reply. So we can do with interaction dot defer reply. Now we can do const ap equals auto poster and then we can open this up. Now in here we're going to go ahead and pass in that token that we just got from the top GG website. Now we're also going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and define our client. Now the reason we're defining the client is because the top GG is actually going to fetch your server count from the client right here. So then we can do a comma and we're going to pass in that client right there. After you do that you can actually come down here we're going to do app.on and we can do posted and then we can do comma and we can open this up with an empty function. Then we can go ahead and edit this into our reply. So we can do interaction.edit reply and we can say content and we can say posted stats to top.gg and just like that. The next thing we can actually do is we can come down here. We're going to do ap.on and we're going to get error. And then we can do the same thing here. So an empty function and we can open this up. We're going to do interaction.edit reply and we can do content. And then we can say an error occurred. And that's actually all we have to do for this command. We can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right. So after restarting the bot, we can go over to top GG. And as you can see right now, our current server count is 580 because we have not run anything yet. Over in the Discord server, as you can see the current stats for tutorial bot are 116 for server number so we can actually go ahead and do slash top gg and we can go ahead and run it now as you can see it's going to say that the tutorial bot is thinking and it is going to take a little bit of time because it does actually have to post all of the data and there we go it's going to say posted stats to top gg so over on top gg if we go ahead and reload the page as you can see nothing is going to change because it does take a little bit of time to actually change all right so after reloading a couple of times and waiting about 10 minutes it is going to go ahead and display that 116 server count right here. If we scroll down a bit, it's going to say the server count 116 and shards one right here. Now keep in mind, this is going to take a while. So it could take one reload and a refresh of your browser. But for me, it actually took 10 minutes of waiting and on other browsers, including my phone, it still doesn't even show up. That's just because top GG takes a little bit of time to work on this and actually post it to its website. If it did give you that post message, it did work. So just be patient and wait for it to show up. 
But after running that command, you will have successfully used the TopGG API to update your server count and your shard count on the website. So that's how you can use the API. If you need any help with that, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.